All right, okay, just sort of give you, try and give you a quick example. I haven't, got, obviously, you know, I'm certainly not mastered this by a long way, but it gives you an idea of um, what the two will sound like if you're soloing over them. I mean, I'm bound to make mistakes, so it's certainly not fluid, but I'll just see what happens. So it helps to try and identify uh, certain runs that um, where you can differentiate between the two. Like it just patterns that are easy to remember. Right, that one. Exactly the same pattern, a semitone apart. When you're sort of more comfortable playing up in that uh, part of the neck, try and extend it down to the lower part, to the lower octave. And uh, join the two together. Apart from the uh, couple of mistakes in there, which I'm sure you try and spot, but that that's kind of what it's going to sound like, which I think is dead cool and, and jazzy. So uh, I think that one's worth worth persevering with for sure. So uh, see how you get on with that one.